with the, M, with the M210, you're limited to about 40, 50 minutes flight time, um, more along the 40 minutes uh, flight time. But with the Teva, you can run it constantly, so you can keep them in the air for hours and hours at the end, I'd say. So the tethers need like loads of power, so but the car doesn't give that power, so we need a generator. Hi, so today we're going to be looking at how to uh, set up the safety. So the box down here is a safety unit. Um, it comes is a, is a, um, a box that's very simple and easy to use. Out of the top of the box comes the actual tether cable. Now we can't. We, we have to run the the drone off two batteries. So the first is a standard TB50 battery. Uh, this is the normal battery that the drone would use. Um, this uh, is coupled with the Alistair air unit. So this is um, a unit that is designed to take the power in from the tether um, and deliver that to the drone. So what we'll do is we'll just connect that up to the tether system. It's a very easy way to just click that together and it's all done, it's very simple. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these to the drone. So this is the M210 that we've got set up here. This is the version one M210. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the air unit first, and we're going to connect that to the left side of the drone. And then we're going to take the TB50 and we're going to connect that to the right side of the drone. So that's that's all the connections done. Um, what I am also going to do is I'm going to add in a safety cable. Now this is a tension release cable that takes any tension, extra tension off this part of the cable and just keeps your drone and your power connection safe. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that on there and I can connect that to the tether at the top and then to this piece here to release the cable but I'll, I'll do that off screen. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take the power cable which connects to the back here. This is a non-standard power cable, it's a high, high current power cable. Um, it comes with the unit, so we're going to plug that into the back of the unit there. And then this is a standard plug. Uh, we've actually used a, a UK adapter. It comes with a, a, a European adapter on there, so you can adapt it to anything you want. And we're going to plug that into a standard generator. It's a 2.7 kilowatt generator. Um, once that's running, that will supply power to the tether, which will then supply power to the drone. And we can fly indefinitely from that point on. So this is the full setup as it would stand. It's very simple to use. Uh, we're, we're going to go through the process of setting it up um, to fly, uh, but that's all the connections already finished. I'm busy installing the, um, the safety kit for the tether. Um, essentially what it is, it's so that you don't have too much strain on the power cable. Um, so this keeps the the, the tension onto this this cable rather than the, the feed going into the power. So we're, for every flight we're going to take wind speed on the on the ground. And the normal calculation is every, every 400 feet the wind speed doubles. Um, but we'll document the wind speed for every flight. So we've got a max of 12.9 miles per hour there. On this, uh, this is just an initial setup test, okay? So Kev's currently flying the drone. The drone's currently sat about five meters in the air. Um, the total takeoff mass of this drone is 6.14 kilograms. That's the maximum takeoff weight stated by DJI. Currently, this drone is weighing 7.1 kilograms. So we're, we're safely flying at five meters, um, which is an extra 50 grams on the cable. So that's 7.6 kilograms in total. Currently what we're using here is called the T-Monitor app by Alistair. 
So this is showing us real power draw in watts per second. This is real time. So you can see how much the, the actual tether is drawing from the craft that you're flying. 30. Yeah, I need 32 more. meters. Power draw still in. So that's sitting healthy at 640 watts and spiking at 700. So Kevin currently is uh, doing some height tests. He's staggering it at 10 meters per, um, per test, so 10, 20, 30, um, in order to test the power draw of the drone with the tether. 50. So we're currently sat at 50 meters, 50 meters, and we're currently drawing 820 watts per second from the drone. That's it. That's 60 meters. So it's 60 meters, we're drawing 850 watts, 860 watts continuously. So that's a set, set at 70 meters, 70, and we're currently drawing one kilowatt per second. 950 watts per second. Drawing 960. So that max, there. That's it. That's 70 meters and 960. With 7.1 kilograms. It's 80 meter tether, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got curvature now. So up there it's going to be about 20 mile an hour. Yeah, so this is pretty much what we're expecting the drone to need. Um, obviously at the moment it's uh, 7.1 kilograms to start with. Um, and then you've got another, uh, you've got the weight of the tether as well. Which is 10 grams, so it's 22 grams per meter. And you've got the 70 meters of cable. So. Uh, you're looking at nearly 10 kilograms in total. So it's showing the battery voltages and temperatures. Uh, just showing that it's flying, flying at 70 meters right now with an 80 meter tether on it. And there's no battery draw, it's not overdrawn on the batteries. Voltage is all good. And the drone's all happy. Um, I think we're, we're, we're on a 22 gram per meter line. We've got the full 80 meters out. Um, with an M200 series uh, aircraft dual payload. Um, we're looking at all of the, the flight statistics and the, um, the, the parameters. Um, essentially, everything's healthy at the moment. Absolutely rock solid. So at the moment, um, we flow the drone from, uh, from the ground through stages of 10, 10 meters, so 10, 20 and so on all the way up to uh, 70 meters, 70 meters. Uh, the drone, uh, we're getting to about 70 meters before the drone's requiring to draw extra power from its onboard battery. This is from the TV50. This is a, um, we think maybe it's a, a thing with the generator and uh, not providing enough. The generator is currently, we're, we're um, suspected 2.4 kilowatts. So we suspect if we use the four or six kilowatt, uh, we'd be able to generate enough power. Um, the, the app is saying that, the, the, the tether app is saying that we currently are drawing about a kilowatt per second uh, at 70 meters. Um, doing the maths, the, the drone at 70 meters is, is taken all the way to the, the tether as well. Uh, so weighs about 8.8 .8 kilograms, which is nearly two and a half kilograms above its uh, maximum recommended takeoff weight. Um, so a payload of say uh, 1.5 kilograms, um, you would very happily get to that 70 meters uh, with the full tether uh, without any extra power draw from the battery. Uh, so we're currently just doing a little bit of time testing at the moment, uh, making sure that uh, the battery doesn't degrade far enough that you couldn't be flying for an hour or two hours. Um, currently we're trying to figure out exactly what that time would be uh, and hopefully in a few moments we'll be able to figure that out. We're going to do 10 meters.
Okay, today, so what we did was we went out to specifically test the uh, payload capacity of an M210 system with a tether. So what we found was that the M210, tether, M210 system with a tether can take a significantly higher payload than what's on the, uh, the data sheets. Um, we had um, a total craft weight of six point, no, sorry, 8.8 .8 kilograms, um, which is almost two and a half kilograms higher than that what's um, said is the maximum takeoff weight in the data sheet. Now, what this says to us is that uh, the 6.14 maximum payload, uh, maximum takeoff weight, is still relevant because it's the maximum safe takeoff limit. Uh, the drone was struggling at some times to gain altitude um, and a lot of uh, extra power was taken f specifically from the tether. Uh, we were looking at over one kilowatt per second draw directly from the tether and there was some extra capacity required from the onboard's, onboard TB50 battery. Um, the outcome of this is basically that we're happy to put a little bit of extra payload on there but that is really down to the client to decide what is safe uh, to use in their environment and uh, the total height um, we got to was 70 meters this might be different um, for your the environment that you're flying in whether if it's uh, high winds in your area or if you're in a protected lower area say in a valley or something that has less wind but as you get higher the winds increase significantly so overall today with the test was a phenomenal success we're very happy with that and uh, we've got incredible amounts of data that we're going to be making available to you um, in the coming days and weeks thank you